Welcome to week four of How to Make a Comic with me, Melanie Whelan, writer and illustrator. First, I'd like to say thank you very much to the Linen Hall for inviting me to be a part of this project. And secondly, thank you to the Bonnie Men for providing the great tunes over the past few weeks. It's really great to have some good music to draw to. So this week, we're going to draw some comics. Last week, we made some single panel comics. So those are comics that are made up of just one picture. But this week, we're going to use those single panel comics as a starting point and create some actual stories. So hopefully you have a stack of blank pages from last week and also your five single panel comic drawings from last week too. So this is just a quick reminder of what we did last week. We made five single panel comics on the small pieces of paper which we had cut out to be about the size of a playing card and the prompts appeared on screen and you drew a quick drawing in reaction to that. And as you can see, my drawings are fairly sketchy and loose and that's what we're looking for. Just a kind of quick instinctive response and um, no great work of art. Uh, these are all very quick and fun. So you may be wondering, what equipment do you need this week? Well, nothing major really. These are my five single panel comics that I did last week. This is my stack of paper that I cut out last week, the spare pieces, so we need them. My trusty pencil, and if you still have the markers, feel free to use them too. Just whatever is quick and easy for making images. So for our very final exercise in how to make a comic week four, we're going to actually create some multi-panel stories. So what I'd like you to do is firstly, take your five panels from last week and spread them out in front of you on the table. So I have spread out my single panel comics on the table in front of me and I'm going to have a good look at the images. So what I want you to look for is can you see any connections between the images? Is any story of what's going on starting to appear in your mind? So I'd like you to select two of your single panel comics and those two are going to be a beginning and an end of a four panel story. So there are two that really jump out at me when I look at my selection of five panels. One is Marcus the fairy jumping off the cliff and the other is Marcus the fairy riding the shark. I think these two will make a really good beginning and an end for the new four panel story we're going to work on. So I've put the other three aside for now. So I think these two images are a really good starting and end point. And all I'm gonna do now is take two blank pieces of paper and they're going to visually join the dots, if you will. The blank pieces of paper will become the middle panels in our four panel comic. So let's get drawing. So this is my final four panel comic. I have Marcus jumping into the sea there, 
Then the shark says, ooh, a tasty snack. But Marcus says, oh, how about a ride instead? And off they go. So I hope you enjoyed making that four panel comic. I think you'll agree with me that making comics is fun and easy. But I've one more challenge for you left. Remember those three panels that we put aside earlier? The ones that were remaining from our single panel comics made in the last video? Yep, I'd like you to put those out in front of you and we're going to make one final comic. So I've laid my three remaining panels out in front of me and I'm going to have a look and see if there's any links between the images. Could I make a story out of these three pictures? And it'll be a six panel story in total. So I'm just going to run through some things in my mind. So the great thing about using loose pieces of paper is that you can easily move around and change the order. So I think I've come up with a story that will make sense. So I've used my three new pieces of paper to make a six panel story and I've laid it out there. So all that's left to do is fill in the dots with some images. Watchman gets down to pray on his knees. He's looking for a person I used to know. If you see him, tell him that it isn't so. So. This is how my story turned out. First of all, Colm and Marcus are leaving home with their knapsack on their back, but then they're tired. They've been walking for ages and they're hungry. They see a snake and try and chase it, but they don't catch it. He got away and he's still hungry. But then he sees a restaurant. Mmm, nice smells and aromas. And then he's in the town looking a bit lost but happy that he's found a restaurant. Well done, you've just made a six panel comic. Thank you so much for watching and drawing along over the last four weeks. You may be wondering what's next. If you enjoyed making these short comics, well, the only way to get better is to keep going, keep drawing, keep storytelling and keep experimenting. The other great thing to do is to read other people's work. So you can do that by going to your local librarian and asking them to show you what comics they have in stock. You could also go to my website www.melaniewhelan.net to see my work and to purchase some of my books. Final thank yous to the Linen Hall Arts Centre in Castle Bar for inviting me to be a part of this project and also to the Bonnie Men for providing the excellent tunes to draw to. It's goodbye for me for now. See you soon.